Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily make speed ramps. One of you has asked me to show the easy and proper way of making speed ramp keyframes and so here is the tutorial. This tutorial is for beginners and hope this will help you a lot. I have dropped my music here as well to show you how to sync speed ramps with the beat drops. Let's double press on L button on your keyboard to open all beat drops and then simply set markers on every beat. To set the marker, scroll to the beat and the press start on your keyboard. Once you have marked all of them, you can begin making the speed ramps, I'm going to show you mistakes of creating the keyframes in your videos and I will show you the easy and proper way to speed ramp. Right click on your video, go to time and enable time remapping. That will create time remap 2 keyframes on our video. Now let me show you one of the biggest mistake that you are doing. I've seen tutorials that show beginners to simply drag the last keyframe backward a bit to create a speed ramp. That's the biggest mistake and if you are doing like this, stop it right now. Let me explain you why. My video is too long, it's about 17 seconds and by moving this last keyframe I just sped up the whole video. That means I haven't chosen the beginning of my video and the ending and I've just sped up the whole video and it will look weird if I play it back. Check it how it looks like. That looks like a crap isn't it? By simply dragging the keyframe it didn't gave me any chance to cut my clips. Some of you may say, first cut your videos then you can drag the last keyframe and that will look better. If you are that guy, please don't comment that. Anyway I have an answer here, that will take longer to create speed ramps. Be simple and let me show you how to easily speed ramp your clips without dragging keyframes or cutting your videos and losing your time. At the very beginning of your clip simply start moving this time forward until you are happy with the beginning of it. Now scroll to the beat drop and simply move this time forward until you are happy with the ending of it. And that's my start and end of the speed ramp. Wasn't that easy and fast? And my video is not messed up and I haven't sped up the whole clip. I have just sped up the moments I wanted from my clip and that's how you do it properly and without losing your time. Now let's select this two keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select edit value graph. And now simply make the smooth speed ramp curve. Check how it looks like. That's how I edit my videos. You may have seen my edits on Instagram and this is my first steps whenever I start editing a speed ramp reels. I don't want to say that others are doing it wrong or something like this but, guys, that's the right method of speed ramping the clips. Don't drag and move keyframes anywhere and don't cut the videos first, just do speed ramping like I showed in this tutorial. This video was about mistakes of speed ramping, if you want a deep tutorial, check this video, I will leave the link in description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.